welcome 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 back everyone to Fasomalic fight arts and welcome back to another video tutorial today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the strongest kicks in the martial arts world that is called the melua de compasso if you guys don't know about melua de compasso you're about to know so what are we going to do with the melua de compasso we're going to apply it to a tricking motion so keep an eye out this is the compasso and then this is the tricking make sense the key to mastering this technique is definitely technique you have to properly master the form of this kick before you apply it so here I'm going to show you the proper technique of doing the melody compasso you stay low you drop your leg behind your back and then you keep the motion in flow and in check, not out of whack. So you can do it with one hand or two hands. This is another form of the Melody Compasso. Both are the same, it's just a different form. Um, they're not too different. It's just a little bit slightly um, applicable in different ways. So one hand is good for another and two hands is good for another one and it's really up to you whether or not you want to use both of them but you may choose your preference but at the end of the day the technique in executing these moves is what matters okay so let's get into it one thing before we start what you have to make sure is to choose from your starting point if you're a tricker you can choose from the parallel motion if you're a martial artist who wants to learn the capoeira then you can do it from the hind position but I'll just say start from the parallel motion and then step forward make another parallel where you want to target your kick and then use your butt to hit the target of your kick as you pull in you drop your hands flat on the ground remember flat on the ground and then your face try to reach or touch your knees in a sense and then look between your arm and your knee hi you see you see what I'm looking here you see what I'm, look, what I'm doing there now this is your goal at first okay make sure from your parallel you put in to that position this will be the foundation for your spin this will be a foundation for your momentum where all the power centers on now get this right and then you will definitely get the compasso very quickly now the next step after you step forward to the next parallel position where you want to draw your energy or your kick drop your hands you want to pull your hind legs now this drill will make sure that you really pull your hind legs forward you pull them do not jump into it okay you have to pull them forward you have to pull your leg with a little bit slight push forward towards your front knee now notes on the front knee position okay <laughs> there are three things that you have to remember number one is keep the knee in a 90 degree angle so this is dangerous do not put your weight too forward do not put your leg too behind you have to keep it in an angle and by this your momentum or your motion will be propelled better by the front leg and the third thing is you have to make sure you put your legs there do not go further than 90 angle okay it is dangerous to your knee you have to put it in a position of a slight bend and the lastly you cannot straighten your foundation leg because by then you will have no momentum to propel the arch but if you bend it slightly you will have the ability to push up and create an arch from the kick okay so I'm going to do slowly here foot forward hands in leg lift and land it behind leg lift and hand and land it behind that is the number one key you have to land behind and put your face as near to your knee as possible that is where you get the height not how low you can bend your knees but how near you can pull your face to it and by then your arch will be easily lifted up now remember you can start from the lunge or you can start from the parallel either way you have to step forward and then drop your hands and then lift your leg and land to the high end of your lunge okay that is the full motion master that first you have to fully fully land your leg backwards so step forward with the foot and you can use one hand one hand the other one up 
this is the more advanced motion but you'll do it later but what you have to do is make sure you land your foot backwards that's where you get all the momentum to do more compasos okay so, so let's let's keep it simple and and just land your foot backwards focus on that first before we master anything else make sure your compasso either one hand or two hand it's really up to you choose for however you like it but i would prefer two hands at first and then progress to one hand make sure you have to land your foot backwards that's where everything is making a difference when you master this technique to land your foot or finish the arch of your kick backwards you can master the momentum better it not only creates understanding towards your body but finesse to the understanding of how your momentum works and how your body is impacting and absorbing things down and up don't just whack your compass up you have to really understand how you arch it how you land it how you control it master this and then your compass will be at ease in performance at ease in tricking sets and it can actually set up for more tricking tricks and tricking combinations when you master a compass good enough it will not only help you for more tricking but also help you for more kicking now how do we transfer this to a tricking setup or a motion you may ask simple by utilizing the white stance um, you may start from the jenga if you want but i prefer from the white stance it's easier for trickers now as you have your white stance you step forward pull your hind legs drop your arms arch your leg up do the kick and then land on the white stance again remember to keep your host stance up and use this position to propel your body up to jump it together so after your compasso you lift your body and your legs together both at the same time so again compasso hands down arch kick and with your horse stance here okay remember do not lift your own body first that will be the first misconception that you want to do in the compasso so remember after your arch kick land sideways and jump together body and foot together utilize the white stance, the white horse stance after the arch of the kick, land sideways and jump together with the body, okay? You have to utilize the momentum in the horse stance, that will be easier for your body to propel up because it's just a better stance from uh, lifting your own body first and then coming in with the legs. You have to keep them together, you have to keep the motion in check together with a one snap motion to make it a lot more easier for you because if you lift it lift your body first and then your legs is doing the rest of the work you're just hurting yourself you're throwing away your momentum you're giving your legs a hard time to jump and you're not efficiently delivering the energy remember to finesse this trick feel this trick feel the motion okay and keep in mind you need a lot of practice to master this again i remind you okay do not remove the importance of the horse stance do not separate your body's momentum from your leg keep them together and maximize the momentum from the arch of the kick and from the first pull to generate the kick up and then after that jump together with the body and both the legs towards the trick that you want to do that would be a great setup for any type of sideway motion maybe a butterfly kick or maybe a illusion twist or maybe a um, touchdown rise it can work it can work all you have to do is just smartly efficiently um, deliver the momentum throughout your body through an intact grounded um, horse stance and also your awareness towards the speed and strength of your body through the understanding of technique and the mastering of technique that is very important now remember, step forward, put your arms down, and arch your leg back. This will be the basic, the basic and the first mastery that you have to do for the compasso. Understand this and master this motion. And when you can, you can easily prepare your momentum up with this kick. It, it is a lot of fun. It is very satisfying to do. You can do it one one hand or maybe two hands, however you're comfortable. Try it. Um, repeat my videos over and over again. It takes a lot of eye. It takes a lot of training and experience to understand how your body works with this momentum of the of kick. You know, it is it is a different type of kick. Um, your whole body is dispersed to 
one edge of the body or of the of the foot which is the ankle or maybe the the balls of the foot and then it is not only hard to stop in the motion but it is very hard to control the energy deliverance you have to very be fond to this practice you have to practice it more often than not to understand how to apply it to a tricky motion and when you can when you do this will be a lot of fun okay keep training keep trying good luck boys and girls i'll see you in the next video ciao